Good evening from London. The UK services sector grew more strongly than expected in March. The new car regulations recorded their weakest March since 1998 amid warnings the Ukraine crisis could make things even worse. This and other fears pushed the UK blue chip index into the red. The FTSE 100 opening 17.79 points lower. That's a drop of 0.23%, reflecting a subdued period of trading for European markets. The FTSE 250 index is down 0.7%. Sterling strengthened marginally against the euro on Tuesday, clinging to gains made on Monday, while pulling away from a three-month low hit last week. Sterling was last 0.01% firmer against the euro, retaining Monday's 0.7% gain after the prospect of more sanctions against Russia knocked the euro. Versus the dollar, the pound was up 0.09%. With important UK economic data not due for weeks yet, markets are turning an eye to any signals from the Bank of England on monetary policy with the central bank's chief economist, Hugh Pill, due to speak on Thursday. Asian stocks rose to their highest in more than a month, underpinned by a broad recovery on Wall Street, while the euro was stuck near a one-week low against the dollar amid talk of more sanctions against Moscow. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan built on early gains and advanced 0.3% to 602.2, the strongest since February the 24th. The benchmark has lost 4% so far this year, dragged by big declines in Chinese shares, while the Russia-Ukraine crisis has also hurt the near-term outlook. And the governor of Sri Lanka's central bank says he has submitted his resignation as the country faces its worst economic crisis in decades. Ajith Nivard Cabral's announcement came after all of the country's cabinet ministers resigned. Angry protesters have also been calling for the country's prime minister and president to step down. A severe shortage of foreign currency has left the government unable to pay for essential imports, including fuel. The island nation of some 22 million people is suffering from its most serious economic crisis since independence from the UK in 1948. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.